Hey kids, it's time for another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming with your host, Mortimer! KKG! KKG! Yay! Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. I'm back with Chris and Corey. Hello. We're playing Costume Quest. And, uh, alright, so I'm gonna tell my story about. Uh, when we went to the suicide forest. Okay. The suicide wait, wait, forest Chris, story. Yes. It looks like you're, you're you're practically done with this at this point. You're almost ready to go into the graveyard. Like you, I think you have like a little bit more to go, and you're pretty much clear. Yeah, it looks like that. Okay. Okay. Go so, ahead. when we went to the suicide forest, uh, we were going originally for a walk and picnic through the forest. Uh, it was like an excursion. Like you had to go to japannow.com or, or go japan.com, and uh, there's like these like lists of things you can do in Japan. And to be a tour guide in Japan, you have to pass all these exams. So it would be like people like in their free time would be like, hey, like I have time at three o'clock on Wednesday. So if anybody wants, I'll give you a tour of like this old Hakone castle or something. So someone was like, hey, I'll give you like a, a walk through Suicide Forest and we'll get lunch and we'll have a picnic there. So we signed up for that. But I guess enough people didn't sign up for that. So we got added into another group who was going cave spelunking. Oh, are you serious? And we didn't know that until we were in the forest and we're putting on these jumpsuits. And we're like, so what are these jumpsuits for? <laughs> and they're like these big one piece red jumpsuits. And Holly was wearing a dress and like, you know, like shoes that were not made for hiking. Oh yeah. Like we were not prepared for this. And uh, the cave we were going into was an ice cave. So, so we had to walk through the forest and we came into this like giant sinkhole in the ground and we had to, it was not safe. We, we should not have done this. I don't know what this guy was thinking. He taught us all these terrible like curse words in Japanese. Like he was a total bro, but, uh, but he should not have been taking us on this tour. And uh, he took us into this cave and uh, water has been dripping in there for thousands of years. And so everything is in extremely icy. And the time of the year we went was April, so it was still kind of snowing in Japan at the time, so the temperature was really cool. Yeah. But the cave was like 20 degrees colder than everywhere else. Um, so the ground was insanely slippery, and if you, if you seriously, Dave, if you slipped one foot, you would fall and die on a spike. Uh, like the cave had sheer drop-offs, like randomly, and it was completely pitch dark. So we all had like tiny lights on our camp on our helmets. And uh, Dan is so lanky, he had a hard time like hanging on to stuff. And because <laughs> oh, you had to be crouched over to fit through these tiny little caverns. I would be terrified. Holly couldn't do it. She had to stay in the entrance of the cave because she just was not dressed for it. And I, she was freezing. I wouldn't do it either. I, I feel like I would have to wait too because I'm not about ready to risk my life. I, I swear cave. I almost died like six times in that cave. But there was Jesus. one point where he had us all like sit down in the cave while he was telling us about it. And uh, my co my uh, jumpsuit was soaking wet because of touching all the ice. And when I stood up, I heard like the because my suit had froze to the rock I was sitting on. Oh, really? Like oh. it was that cold in there. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, the, the forest itself was amazing and eerie and I would have loved to have spent more time in it. Because uh, I wanted to originally, but instead we got put on this bizarre spelunking adventure. And I actually have pictures from it. I'll have to show you guys. You it was should. crazy. That's cool. Yeah, I, I recommend it. It was only like a hundred bucks for like all of us, I think, to go. So. Oh wow! I've always yeah. wanted to go to like just haunted, like like haunted attractions. Yeah. Well, like that's why I really like going to Loftus Hall with Chris in yeah. Ireland. That was stupid. The <laughs> the most haunted place in all of Ireland. It had this like insane, uh, really detailed tiled floor in like one yeah. of the main rooms. It was really pretty. It, it was beautiful and the guy was telling us the story about it. it was like this really wealthy couple who like flew in these two, I think it was Italian men to come make this floor. They were like masters of their craft. Oh yeah. And then after they finished it, uh, the guy who owned the house cut off their hands so that they could never make anything like that for anyone else. What? He wanted to be the only person who had a floor that beautiful. I think that might be bullshit. <laughs> it might be bullshit, but that was the story he was telling us. Like, shit like that, it's like so scary. And like, they were saying that like... So this is like, uh, it's, uh, I made your floor. <laughs> okay, like, so... Like, now, it's like, what if I need to do stuff like, you know, fucking use my hands? Yeah. Like, beyond like, what if I don't want to paint? What if I want to eat? Yeah. It's like, well, should have thought about that. <laughs> That's what you get. It's an <laughs> asshole. So the story of Loftus Hall was, uh... There was this family who lived in this insane mansion uh, by the ocean. They were lived near a lighthouse, and I guess Chris, feel oh, free to the, correct me it was whenever. The girl, right? The girl yeah. story. Yeah. Uh, so there was this like lighthouse, and one time this like boat came to shore, and one person got off of it, and the boat left the port, and that person walked through the rain to this mansion in the middle of the night, and knocked on the door, and was like, "Can I stay here for the night?" 
and you know being kind people of Ireland they were like of course come on and stay so they they sat at the table in their parlor and they were playing cards with them he asked if they wanted to play poker and I think it was Sunday so like you're not supposed to play cards on Sunday or something but they wanted to like be nice to their guest yeah and he was dealing out the cards and I guess he dropped a card on the floor when he was dealing it to the daughter and she looked on the table and saw he had a cloven hoof and What's she re- it's uh, a like the devil's foot, foot. Oh, really? So she, she saw it was a devil, and she stood up and was about to say something, and then he shot through the roof and created this yeah. hole in the ceiling that is still there to this day. That's no matter how many story. times they tried to patch it up, it's always there. What? But I guess they said the real story was that, yes, it was a man who came to the house, and um, he stayed with them for a while, and the daughter fell in love with this mysterious man and got knocked up, and he left and never came back and the girl was really distraught over it and when she had the baby they buried it under the floor and yes, the girl went insane why would she do that is that how it went chris yep i think so why uh, why were they buried under the floor because because back then it wasn't it wasn't it was, uh that was a good joke like, hey, gotcha baby on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> i think they did it because back then it wasn't appropriate for uh, a single woman to have a child you know without a man around not being married or anything so it was like a serious I think they were social to, thing. They were trying to get to her range. How come this fucking game reminds me <laughs> of the Sapsa maze? I, 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 we're talking about uncomfortable words that you should not call girl private parts. I think a minge. Minge just sounds gross, man. It sounds minge. dirty Shall and weird. Minge. Shall we come, come on, on then. Uh, come on, then. I, also, on, then. I also don't like saying private parts. It just sounds weird. Private, yeah, the same genitalia. Say, yeah. Show us your fucking you pinko. Say, yeah. No, man, that sounds like little kids. Show us your pink strip. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, this is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Show us your phalange. This is. Th- Wait, Chris, tell us a story about a scary place you've been to. Yeah, Chris. Uh, my flat. Oh my yeah, flat. tell us about the yeah, ghost Chris, in your flat. You the creepy story. Well, the house was creepy. I remember the clock story. Tell us the clock story. Okay. Uh, I'll just tell you both stories. Okay. So pretty much, me and I uh, lived in a flat in Wexford. And we thought it was kind of spooky. But anyways, what happened one day... Okay, I'll tell you the first story. So Zach was staying over one time, and uh, we both woke up in the morning and walked into the kitchen, and there was ketchup all over the walls and all over the roof. We were like, what the fuck? And then I was like, Zach, you were a fucking asshole. You must have, like, sle- sleepwalked or something. He's like, I did not do it! And I, I, like, we, like, looked at the place, or at, at the walls, and, like, where the ketchup came from, and it clearly was squirted from inside of a cupboard. Do you think it could have overheated it, and then exploded? I don't see any reason for it to do that, because it's Ireland, and it's cold there all the time. But what happened, it had clearly exploded out of the cupboard. And that was one weird thing that happened. And then another weird thing that happened was, when I was living with Nile there, he was like, uh... Oh, so we had this big clock in the wall, and I was like, this is a fucking piece of shit, I hate clocks. So I never, I don't like clocks because they're, they're always ticking and it annoys me. I don't like repetitive noises. But what happened was, one day the clock was back on the wall ticking, and I was like, god damn it, Nile. Because I assumed that he got batteries for it and put it back in. And then, uh, I took out the batteries and I left it on the chair. Then Nile was like, oh, cool, you changed the clock. And I was just like, no, you did. And he was like, no, I didn't. I was like, what the fuck? So it was just like, some fucking ghoul changed my clock batteries. Jesus, dude. Some spooky specter of the night. Did you Didn't you guys decide it was like stuff? a girl? It was no, a girl I decided ghost? it was a little stupid cliche ghost girl, and I think this is stupid because I hate ghost girls. They're you boring. Hate cliche ghost girls? Yeah. You only want ghost boys? Well, do you know I that, want big fucking scary towering black phantoms. Do you know that like the ghost children are usually like the most like violent? Who cares? They're, like, not, really? Who cares? They're not usually kids. They're usually oh, shit. like uh, cause you know how like uh the devil ha- can do thousands of voices? Mm. Like demons can like play children. Mm. That's why when you hear a kid and I don't know, there's, there's lots of stories where it talks about how like kid kids like uh kid demons like get to your kids. Cause they know they're vulnerable, mm. and they like tell them stuff. Like they. Like if I saw a ghost kid, I'd be like, "That is fucking scary." But I think the idea of ghost children is fucking boring at this point. Yeah, I mean it's cliche, but <laughs> tell it to a ghost child. <laughs> yeah, how... Can't. they don't You're exist. You're boring. <laughs> yeah, go to go to a, go to a little bo- ghost boy. Okay, I got Whenever... a stinky girl right, here. Okay, you're you're about done. Oh shit! You're gonna fight a boss, I think. Da, 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 Wait, da, 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 and then da, da, he's gonna beat da, da, the da, game. Da, 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 da. No, you, there's three levels, I believe. Dude, if you ever talk about ghosts with Brian, like Ninja Brian, he will like destroy your shit. He's oh, like, absolutely. ghosts are not real, Susie. Like, if they were real, why aren't there dinosaur ghosts? He'd be like, 
If there were ghosts, like because every part of the earth would be covered in they ghosts. Have a conscience. <laughs> Dinosaurs, yeah, they're all like they, they respectful. Were, yeah, they're they like, were, I won't bother you. Yeah, they were all like kind. What the fuck was that? It, it was. It's only lore. All dinosaurs were not meat <laughs> eaters. They ate vegetables. They had a balanced breakfast, and they were good to their neighbors. This bullshit carnivorous stuff is nonsense. Okay. Corey, didn't you know the dinosaur bones were put on Earth by scientists to, I mean, by the devil to fool people and to not believe yeah. in God? Yeah, they, they... People believe that stuff. It's, it's nonsense. God! <laughs> no! Like, what is wrong with people? My biggest problem with it comes down to the point where it's like, um... I believe what you want, but you cannot deny the fact that there are rocks that have been around for 48 thousands of years, like just thousands, yeah. like from BC, Shit. like rocks and wood that have been around since the PC age. There's, there's proof, there's evidence that they have been around, and you can't just say like, oh, they were put there and forced time yeah. lapse oh. on them. It's like, no, they were put there from time. The Earth's grew, Earth crust grew over those things, and that's why you have bones underground because of, you know, yeah. the layers. That's totally. why the stuff is layers. And if you dig deep, you can find out the layers of the world and whatever. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's common sense. Just dig, you'll find out. Anyways, I, I don't believe in that stuff, but I believe in... Shit. Um, I just like telling stories. Yeah. All right, well, next time on another episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're going to tell more stories, and we're going to watch Chris beat this boss. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't oh, miss it. Are you fighting a boss? See you guys next time. Bye, everybody.